In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit a B2 essay and up-level it to a C1 level and beyond. I'll begin by reading the original essay, The Benefits of Learning Languages. In today's globalised world, speaking another language is a valuable skill. Although English is the most studied, many also choose Spanish, Mandarin and Japanese. Let us examine three benefits of language learning. Firstly, fluency in another language is extremely useful for many careers. For example, it can allow employees to speak to international customers or officers in different countries. As a result of this, many companies require new employees to have this Cambridge B2 first. Secondly, knowledge of other languages can be very helpful when traveling abroad. For example, English is spoken by most hotel staff and waiters. In addition, it can be used in most airports around the world. Finally, learning another language can help you access films and books from other cultures. This might involve reading a play by Shakespeare or watching a film by Almodovar in the original language. In summary, communicating in another language is an extremely valuable skill. Although it is a lot of work, it is definitely not something you will regret. This essay is already at a very high level. It is a borderline B2 and C1 essay, but let's see how I can improve it and take it to an even higher level. Let's begin with the title, The Benefits of Learning Languages. I am going to change benefits to advantages. The advantages of, and instead of saying learning languages, I'm going to use this word multilingualism. That is a more advanced word and it means obviously to speak multiple languages. So in today's globalized world speaking another language is a valuable skill. I have an idea for a fantastic opening sentence. In today's... Now I've heard this expression used in the English speaking world as an, I am a native speaker. In today's rapidly shrinking world. And what this means is obviously our planet is not shrinking but it means that the distance and the barriers between different cultures is becoming smaller because of globalization. So I thought that would be a nice way to start this essay. In today's rapidly shrinking world speaking a s now it says speaking another language so I'm going to put speaking a second and then I thought I'd put in brackets or third language and then it says is a valuable skill I'm going to instead of saying a valuable skill that's fantastic but let's see if we can improve it is a desire a highly desirable asset an asset is something of value which you own usually an asset is your house or your car um, but in this instance, it's a skill that you have. Although English is the most studied, how about we start with um, whilst English. Now, we all know that English is the most studied language in the world. So whilst English is without a doubt the most frequently studied choice. And then it says many also choose Spanish, Mandarin and Japanese. Let's expand that increasing numbers of people now there's a great word of great verb opting to opt means to choose however you would use opting as a phrasal verb or opting for languages such as and then we're going to introduce a list with a colon spanish mandarin and Japanese and it says here let us examine three benefits of language learning I'm going to say let us dive into this lang linguistic landscape and discover the benefits of being multilingual. Now this linguistic landscape, those of you who've seen my other videos will know that I like alliteration. 
um, and a landscape can be metaphorical in this way and it's talking about the topic of languages. So this second paragraph is the first benefit of learning languages and it's talking about career opportunities. So I'm going to keep firstly um, and it says fluency in another language. Let's say fluency in an additional language. An additional language um, is a higher level way of saying another language. And it says here is extremely useful for many careers. Let's change this to is extremely advantageous. That is a typo, trying to type and think at the same time. Is extremely advantageous in many careers. And then I'm going to keep for example. For example, and we have here, it can allow employees to speak to international customers or offices in different countries. Let's just get rid of the it can allow and let's go straight to employees. Employees can communicate with, and then instead of international customers, how about international clients? In English, client is a higher level way of saying customer. In a shop, we would refer to a customer, but in a business environment, we can talk about clients. And then it says, or offices, in different countries. I have a much better way of saying that. Or branches, overseas branches. Or overseas branches. Now, overseas means in a different country. Branches, branch has two, meaning, two meanings. For example, a tree has branches. The arms of a tree, we call them branches. However, when a business has lots of offices around, we call those branches. So I'm going to now say, as a result of this, I'm going to say consequently. Consequently, and then it says, many companies require new employees to have the Cambridge B2 first. Consequently, the majority of employers demand new recruits possess the Cambridge B2 certificate as a minimum. So I've got here possess. Um, I've also demand. When you demand something, it's a very strong way of asking. So there we have it. Now I will be editing this essay at the end to see if we can improve it even further. But this is our first step in the process. Now, I'm very aware that the third paragraph is actually rather short. So, I might add something to this. Secondly, now it says knowledge of other languages can be very helpful when traveling abroad. So I'm going to change it to linguistic knowledge. Um, I didn't mention before, linguistic is anything to do with languages. Can be very useful when traveling abroad is often beneficial when traveling abroad. Then we have here, for example, English is spoken by most hotel staff and waiters. I'm gonna say for instance, it's another way of saying for example. For instance, English is spoken by most hotel staff and waiters. Let's use a not only but. English is not only spoken across the tourism sector. So hotels and restaurants, it's the tourism sector, but also at airports around the globe. So I need to add in another sentence because as I say, that's quite a short paragraph. So I am going to actually add a dash and I'm going to say, this enables fluent English speakers to, to communicate with ease in a wide 
range of countries. And we'll see what this looks like when we get to our final edit. Finally, learning another language can help you access films and books from other cultures. We can definitely up-level this. Finally, foreign language study can open doors to other cultures. We have this expression in English to open doors, it's metaphorical. And then I'm going to say via cinema and instead of books, so I've said instead of films, I've said cinema and instead of books, I'm going to say literature. And then it says, this might involve reading a play by Shakespeare or watching a film by Almodovar in the original language. Now, I'm going to show you a new word for involve. This might entail. This word entail. Look it up. Fantastic C2 level word. This might ent entail sampling. When you sample, usually we sample food. It means trying something new, but I think it works really well here. Sampling the riches of Shakespeare. Or... And then it says, Almodovar, I'm going to say, entering the glorious world of Almodovar in their respective original languages. Respective is because I'm, rep I'm referring to Shakespeare and Almodovar, and they have different original languages. Let's take a look now at our summary paragraph. In summary, we could also say in conclusion, or to summarize or to conclude. Now it says here, communicating in another language is an extremely valuable skill. How about I say the benefits of learning another language, and then I'm going to use this expression, simply cannot be overstated. When you overstate something, you say it's more important than it is. But what this says is the benefits of learning another language simply cannot be overstated. You can't emphasize it enough. It's so important. Um, I'm going to do dot, 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 which is also known as ellipses. A brand new world awaiting your discovery is only a language class away. This only a something away, you can say to a friend, I'm only a telephone call away. I'm only two hours away. It's a way of saying that you are close by. Now it's time to make some small edits and read the finished essay one last time. This essay, along with all my other C2 essays, is going to be in a PDF ebook. So check out the description box for a link. The advantages of multilingualism. In today's rapidly shrinking world, speaking a second or third language is a highly desirable asset. Whilst English is without a doubt the most frequently studied choice, increasing numbers of people are opting for languages such as Spanish, Mandarin and Japanese. Let us dive into this linguistic landscape and discover the benefits of being multilingual. Firstly, fluency in an additional language is extremely advantageous in many careers. For example, employees can communicate with international clients or overseas branches. Consequently, the majority of employers demand new recruits possess the Cambridge B2 certificate as a minimum. So I'm gonna change this ever so slightly. For example, multilingual employees can communicate with international clients or overseas branches. And then I'm going to show you an expression as a bare minimum. When we say the bare minimum, it means the absolute minimum. Secondly, linguistic knowledge is often beneficial when traveling abroad. For example, English is not only spoken across the tourism sector, but also at airports around the globe. This enables fluent English speakers to communicate with ease in a wide variety of countries. I'm going to add a comma to the end of that sentence for that adverbial. 
The only criticism you could say is the tourism sector and airports are kind of the same thing, but I suppose if you're in an airport for business, it's not tourism. Finally, foreign language study can open doors to other cultures via cinema and literature. This might entail sampling the riches of Shakespeare or entering the glorious world of Almodovar in their respective original languages. I've got two adjectives here, respective and original, so I'm going to use a comma to separate them. Also, this paragraph is slightly shorter. Perhaps in the PDF version, I will add another sentence. In summary, the benefits, the benefits of, of learning another language simply cannot be overstated. A brand new world awaiting your discovery is only a language class away. I really hope that you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a like on YouTube because this will really help my channel to grow. And if you know someone who has a similar level of English as you, please share this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.